Hello, friends! I have over here gold and silver, which are colors that I don't usually see in a lot of oil paintings, and I actually did not know the silver existed until I randomly stumbled across it while going to my local Blick store. Um, these generally are the same as any other oil paints. I've done videos on gold before comparing a bunch of them. But I thought I would uh, have a thing where I just kind of mix them with other colors, see what happens, see if maybe there's some actual practical applications to this that aren't solely straight from the tube. I don't know how people will use silver and gold in traditional oil painting, maybe for a lot of modern stuff. But um, yeah, no gloves this time. Um, so yeah, silver and gold straight out of the tube are what they say in the tin. These are both gambling. There are other similar silver and golds and iridescents and all kind of things from all the other oil paint companies. I cannot close the tube. Why can't I close the tube? There we go. Took me a minute. Um, but yeah, just what it says on the tin. It's gold. It's shiny. It's pretty. It's reflective. It's all the things a gold needs to be. Um, let's mix it with a little bit of white. I don't have gambling white because that's how I roll. I have some Williamsburg, but it's titanium white. Good old classic. There we go. Let's mix the gold with some white. See how that goes together. Maybe too much white. Because the pigments of metallics, uh, I'll do it over here, yeah. Like it tints it, and it gives it kind of a reflective kind of sheen, but it doesn't really come out glittery, you know? Uh, okay, we'll wipe that off. So we can go with the silver now. Silver! For some reason, this weighs a lot less than this, even though they're the same... I don't know what's going on there. there. This got oil. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? Why did that happen? Why Why was it compressed like that? Okay. Ooh, that smells very strongly and not like oil paint. Very strange. It smells like 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 the kind you use for cars. But what is happening? Okay, very strange. Um Okay, and it's like the gold as shimmery, the, the shadow from my recording device. Okay, now we'll mix it with some white. Why does it smell so chemical? Very strange. Move them aside. And it tints it gray, as one would expect from silver and gold, and also probably used more than I should have. Yeah, tints it way, way gray. And it kind of like mats it down a little bit. Now we're gonna wipe that off. And now we're gonna, whoop, that goes on the floor. That's not good for my floor. No. Okay, now we'll mix the gold with some ivory black, which is also not Camlin or Williamsburg, because that's how I roll. The gold did not explode from the tube like the silver did. Most Okay, no, it is still kind of exploding from... Why is it doing that? I don't know. But here, it smells chemically. Why? Not like oil paint at all. Okay. Got some ivory black. Haven't been used in a while, so it has like dry bits. Okay. Okay. Gonna mix some black with the gold. See how that. It's it's. Okay. It makes it kind of shiny, but it didn't really, it tints the black a little bit. Like if 
personally, I find uh, Williamsburg's um, iridescence to give things more of a glittery kind of sheen. This doesn't seem to really do the same as that. Now we're going to mix the black with some silver. I have plenty of silver, so I don't really need to put more of that on the palette. Let's see. Maybe too much silver in there. Yeah. Hey, it's kind of gunmetal. Yeah. Gunmetal's a color. Yeah. It's kind of a gray, kind of shiny. Why is my camera shaking? Okay. We'll wipe that off. And just for fun, just because we can, we'll mix both of the colors again with just blue. Just so we have something other than the white and the black to see how it mixes with. Let's see. We have both silver and gold out already, so we don't really need to put much more of that. Put some here. Come out. This is Windsor & Newton, which is again, not any of the other brands I'm using here today, but here we are. Get a dollop of silver, mix it with the blue, try not to... It makes it a silvery blue! I'm not sure what I was expecting, but here... Whoop, silver's on this side. This is a very chemically small... Yeah, it makes it a silvery blue. Neat. Kind of shiny. Kind of not. Let's wipe that off. Toss it in the trash can. Get some gold out. Yeah. See what the gold does. Yeah, a little bit more. Look at that. More. Hmm. Yeah. It doesn't quite green it out. It doesn't really blend particularly well um smells extremely strong and chemically i do not like that um and not an oil paint smell so there we go we have silver and we have gold and we mixed it with white and with black and with blue so yeah use how you want to use it beware of the chemical smell and the fact that it apparently explodes out of the tube um yes thank you goodbye Ta-da!